Alrighty, we have a panel box we have to replace here. Let's see if we can get some better light up here. Oh, that's pretty nice there. So we're going to get all our wires disconnected here. Unfortunately, those are all Ethan Allen head screws. The reason we're replacing this box is somebody accidentally threw away the cover and it is unobtainable. So we're going to have to take it out because code says we have to have a, a box with the panel cover on it. So we'll get all our breakers out. We are saving all the breakers. We're going to be reinstalling them. Here in the country I was born in, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps, 8 American wire gauge on 40 amps, 6 American wire gauge on 50 amps. We're going to get all our wires all disconnected here. This is our 50 amp stove. Oh, those screws run very tight. One major thing they did is they didn't put any ox guard on these uh, terminals where the power comes in. See how that was loose there? That wasn't very good. So that's another reason we're changing this panel because that's not very solid.
I'm going to save our metal Romex connectors. I bought plastic ones to put in because they'll go in easier. We're not throwing these away, we're saving them. Okay, so we got almost all our wires out. These uh, are Allen wrench terminals here. Okay, I'm going to just double check and make sure these are off.
thank you, Lord. I praise your name for having me get down and pick them all up. I never curse your name, Lord, because I love you and praise you and worship you. Hallelujah. Focus on you, Lord. Okay, so we're going to get this all unscrewed from the wall here. Okay, so we'll get a couple screws in here. Here's two of the new style breakers. They all match, and you can still use the other ones we had. How's it going, John? Oh, Tommy, okay, my camera's recording, so you, you don't want to yell. I am doing that. Okay. What are you going to do with that box here? Take it out? Yeah. It'd probably be easier. Yeah. Okay, so we'll clean this off here.
Okay, so we'll just tighten our ring up here. Okay, these are, okay, so since this is a sub-panel, this is our ground, we have to keep it separate from our neutral. If it doesn't fit, we're not going to carry on, we're not going to get frustrated, but it looks like it's going to fit. With just a little force, it will fit. I'm going to just get them all in there nice and straight. We'll just get them a little tighter together here. Now, if they don't fit, we'll just put some in one screw above it and some in the screw below it. And we will not frustrate, we will not carry on, we're not going to complain. Looks like that's what we're going to have to do. So we're, we're not going to carry on, we're not going to complain, we're not going to frustrate, we're not going to take our Heavenly Father's name in vain. We're going to just separate them here. We'll take some strands here. We'll put some in the one above it and some in the one below it. And you know what? We're not going to complain about it. We're not going to frustrate. We just do what you can got to do to make it work, but make it work safely. And you thank your Lord and Savior that you can do what you can do and not complain and frustrate and piss and moan and carry on and all that bullshit. You just praise and worship Him and be thankful for what you can do and thankful for what you have. Don't complain about what you don't have to your Heavenly Father. Don't complain about what you can't do. Just focus on what you can do and praise and thank Him for everything you can do. Heavenly Father is the Lord and Savior, from whom all blessings flow. You praise Him, you thank Him, you don't frustrate, you don't get upset, you don't curse Him.
There we go. They're both in all the way now. All our strands are through on both halves there. We'll push it back, get it out of the way here. I don't like how this light is rolling, so I'm going to change it to my better one. Okay, this is our bonding screw. Now, if this was a main panel, we would screw this in like that. And that will bond this and this together, and I'd have a main breaker up here. But since this is a sub panel, we take this bonding screw out because we have to keep our neutral and ground isolated and separated. And that's the uh, bonding screw, but you don't use this in a sub panel. Okay, now we can take we'll put our white on our neutral here. We'll open up our neutral terminal here. Okay, we'll bend it down. Okay, so we're going to cut it about right here. And strip it about right here. So now what I'm going to do is just score through our insulation here. I'm going to be careful not to go through and cut our wires. And we'll just pull it off like that. So this is our ox guard. We have to put ox guard on this aluminum. So we're going to leave some tape on here to keep it covered up so it's sealed. And we'll take and we'll put some ox guard on here. Make sure we get it under here all the way around. Heavenly Father, where did I put my uh, Allen wrench? If I don't find it, it's
Okay, so we bring our conductor up through our terminal, make sure our insulation is not caught under the terminal. We'll make sure it's nice and tight. So there is our neutral. Now we can get our two live wires here. We'll open these two terminals up. So we'll bring our conductor over this way, make like a little loop here, and we'll Okay, so we'll score some off here. We'll just score around our insulation like this. Be careful not to cut into your conductors underneath. And I just thank my Lord and Savior. I don't have my knife. Not to struggle with that the hard way. Because you know what? Frustrating does not help you. No, it doesn't. Just praising and worshiping your Heavenly Father is what helps you. You want to make sure you get that white film off of there too. So we'll put, again, we'll ox guard this up really good here. Make sure it's down in the grooves all the way around. Okay, we'll just bring our other one over this way. Okay, so we'll cut this one about right here. And we'll strip off some of our, take our insulation off here. Now be careful not to cut into your conductors underneath. So I just score gently, I don't, Put a lot of power pressure into that.
You got to make sure you get this plastic film off. Okay, we'll stick some ox guard on here. the ox guard all over your fingers and your hands because it's very hard to get off. So this is our power coming into the box. Okay, now we'll just double check and make sure everything's tight. One, two, three. Okay, all our conductors are in there nice and tight. We're done with our Allen wrench. Okay, now we can start hooking up our branch circuits. So we have uh, knockouts up here. We can open this one first. We'll put, we'll use these plastic ones because they, they're nice and easy to work with. So you just push it in like this. Then we'll grab some wires here. Okay, let's use this short one on each over here. We'll grab a longer one over here. Okay, we'll bring our wire into our, our jacket into the box here. So now we will take and we'll start wiring our panel up. Okay, this is size wire this is. This is 12. This is 12. So we take, we'll get our uh, ground wire over to the corner here. We'll bring it down and we'll come over and we'll go into our first hole up here. down here on our neutral bar. So we'll bring it up here. We'll come up. We'll come down. We'll bend here. And we'll cut it right here. Strip with our number 12 hole. It's nice and tight and apply it against our box here. Okay, now we'll put our uh, uh, brand new 20 amp breaker in the box. Set it up here. We'll push it in like this. Okay, we'll bring our wire over to about here. We'll bring it to the same spot. Bend it up. And we'll clip it where we're going to go into our breaker here. And 
The uh, wire stripped a little long, but not too bad. So we'll just clip a little off. And we'll shape it in like that there. There, that's how we want it, like that. Now we'll get another wire in here. This is we'll look for another 12. This is another 12. So we'll put this one in through this one right here. Which are 12. This one is 14. This one is this one is our 12. Okay, so we'll get our ground wire over on the neutral bar here, we'll put our ground bar, we'll push it up over here, we'll make our bend, and up here we'll make our bend to go over to our ground bar, so we'll cut it right here. Okay, we'll get back over here to our, we're going to straighten into our corner here. Our Robertson hopped like a little bunny rabbit on that screw, so I turned it with our flathead. Okay, now we'll bring our white wire, bend it up so it comes over here. We'll bring it down, and we'll go in right here. We'll make our wire go up nice and straight here. We'll put our next 20 in here. Then we'll bring our black wire over here. Bend it up here and we'll put it in right here. It looks like that was just the right length to put in there. Now we just gotta bend it a little bit. We gotta bend this up so it goes straight here and it's going in straight here. I like to keep all my wires going nice and neat. There it is, going nice and straight. 
Okay, so let's see if we can get this one to go in. Back in here. Sometimes you just gotta force them in. If you don't go, you just force it. It'll go. Well, I'm not getting frustrated. I'm not getting flabbergasted. It's not gonna fit straight. It's not gonna be straight. That's all there is to that. And you just thank your Heavenly Father for what you can do. And don't complain and piss and moan about what you can't do. It's in. So thank you, Lord. I just want to praise your name, Heavenly Father. It's a little crooked, but it's the way it's going to be because I can't make it straight. So I just thank the Lord for what I can do. It's in. If I keep messing with it, I'd rather have it a little crooked than broken. It went in anyway, so there it's in. Push plug the wires through made it go in, so I'm thankful to the Lord it went in. Okay, so we'll start with our ground wire. We'll put it back up here into the back. We'll bend it over. We'll put it in our ground terminal here. it up so it's all nice and straight and tucked in in the back here. Okay, we'll bring our white wire over here. We'll push it up, get up into our corner here. We'll come down and we'll bend right here and we'll go in, we'll cut it right here. Strip with our 14 gauge hole. to get a 15 amp breaker to put on this. You can see the rating is on the toggle of the circuit breaker, so we'll put 15 in here. We'll bring our black up here. We'll bring it down. We'll make our bend where we're gonna go into our breaker. Cut it right here.
Okay, so we have one more uh, 15 to put in here, and then we have a 20. So we can just put, let's see if it's long enough to go over here. Just long enough. Okay, so we'll get our uh, wires ready to go. We'll get our ground. We'll push it all the way up to this corner over here. And we'll bend it over right there. And we'll bring it in that hole right there. So we'll cut it about right here. Okay, we'll push it back so it's going to be nice and straight here. There it is, it's going in nice and straight. We'll just make sure it's all up. Okay, now we'll bring our uh, white wire down. We'll put it on our neutral bar. So we'll bring it over here. We'll bring it down. Okay, we'll make our bend right here where we put into our neutral bar. We have to go down and get another 15 year breaker. You can see the rating is on the toggle there. This is the new style right here for the bedroom circuit. The other ones are probably like five or six years old, but this is a brand new, new style uh, for a uh, Siemens, or uh, Eaton, I mean. So we'll put our breaker in the box here. And this is 14. So we'll bring it over here, we'll push it up. We'll bring it down, we'll go up into our breaker here. So we'll strip it. There's our bedroom circuit, and this is the living room circuit, and these 220s are the kitchen circuit. So this is our last circuit we have to hook up. It's on 120 volt circuit. Let's see where we can put it.
So, okay, so I'll put this one up here. Nice and easy. How you doing, John? Okay. Oh, oh, how are you? Oh, okay. How are you, John? No. Oh, well, John, you're okay. I'm far from being John. Yeah, don't forget my camera's on. Okay. So I'm almost done. So we got our, we'll hook our ground wire up first. We'll push it up all the way over here into our corner where our ground wires go. Is John still here? I don't know. Oh. I haven't seen him in the building. Oh. Okay, so we'll bring it down. We'll bring it over. You know, any question about that old wire to that box there? Oh. Tight. Push it back in the corner here where we want it. Okay, now we'll bring our white wire down and we'll go over to our neutral bars. We'll bring it up to the corner here. How does this look in here? It'd be all right. Oh, what do you want you to bring over a bolt? Fix them ceiling tiles. Oh, okay. Put them in this closet after. Okay. All right. Now we'll put our 15 amp breaker in here. And here it is. All I gotta do is hook up the two 220s, and I'm ready to go down and turn this on. This is another uh, brand new style 15 amp breaker. Put it right here. And we'll bring our black wire up. Bring it up to where we gotta go. We'll bring it down to here. Bring it up, and we'll. Oh, this one's a flathead screwdriver. Make sure it's open all the way so we get our wire into the breaker all the way. Make sure it's nice and tight. We'll bend it so it goes in nice and straight where we gotta get it. Just put a new one down here for a spare. To spare, okay. So we'll bring the 220 line up. Again, I thank my Lord and Savior for not having that knife. But you know what? It's only a knife. It's nothing but a knife. And you know what? You can't let a knife ruin your life. Amen.
you just hack it the hard way, that's all. Just do it the hard way. the hard way instead of cursing my heavenly father. Amen? Because why curse him? Because he created you, baby. He died for you. Why curse him, you know? Ugh. Just enjoy doing it the hard way. If you lose a strand, you know what? You lose a strand. That's all. It's that simple. It's that simple. You just praise him. Just do the best you can. Ugh. Oh no, it's not a broken screen. It was broken before. But we're, we're not getting frustrated. We're not getting flabbergasted. We're not going to carry on. We're not going to piss and moan and make our Heavenly Father upset. We're going to praise Him. We're going to worship Him. Mm. And honor and mm. I just thank Him for not having that knife. Praise Him for wherever that knife is at. Amen. It's all in the hands of the Heavenly Father. You don't piss and moan and frustrate and carry on about anything. <clears throat> well, I cleared it off the best I can. We'll clean it all off nice and neat here. Twisted backwards, so you know what? I'll just twist it counterclockwise. You don't frustrate, you just. I don't want to keep. Chain, make the wires weaker by. Twi uh, twisting them the opposite way. I would have twisted them clockwise myself, but that's how they did it at the start, so I'm just going to finish it that way. Or is it clockwise? Maybe they did twist them clockwise. Or they did twist them counterclockwise. Finish them twisted counterclockwise, they'll be fine.
We have a couple broken strands, but we're not going to piss and moan. We're not going to carry on. We're just going to wrap them up and as nice and tight as we can. Because pissing and moaning is only going to upset my Heavenly Father. Now we are going counterclockwise because it was counterclockwise to start with. Otherwise, I would have put them on clockwise. And we'll put this ground wire. Or we can go over here on our ground bar. So I'll bring it up over here. Because the stove is 220 and there's no neutral in, in the stove. Now, you know what? But since this was on the neutral to start with, I'll put it over here on the neutral bar. Because there is a clock on the stove that runs off the 110. And it uses the neutral, the ground for the neutral, so we'll put it in here. And there's a light in the oven that runs off the 110, so we will put it over here on the neutral. We'll just cut off our strands here so they're all even on the end. And that's how it was to begin, so we'll put it over here on our ground our neutral bar. <coughs> but I just thought of something. If we put it on the neutral bar and it's touching the side of the box, it's bonding our ground to neutral. So we're gonna put it over on the ground bar. So we'll bring it over here. Bring it up. We'll bring it down here. Make sure we get all our strands into our hole, which we did. It's our number two Robertson. This is our power to go to the stove. So here in the country I was born in, we do have 220, 240 volt. It's a double pole breaker rather than a single pole because you have 120 on one side and 120 on the other side, and that gives you the 240. So we'll put our stove up here on the top. We'll bring it up along the top of our box here. 
bend it in, we'll bring it nice and even, we'll cut it right here. And we'll score it like we did the uh, main cable here. Make sure that little film is off of there. We'll loosen up our terminal and make sure we're not getting our insulation caught under the terminal. Okay, we'll push it up, bring it up, we'll come down and we'll get into our bottom terminal here. We'll take off some of our, we gotta be careful again not to uh, cut into our insulation or into our conductors underneath. You know what, I'm going to put some OxGuard on these terminals just to be on the safe side. Thank you, Lord.
What's going on? I just want to praise your name, Lord. I'm not going to curse you. I want to praise you and worship you, Lord. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. I just praise your name, Lord. Praise your holy name, Lord. There it is. It is what it is. I just praise you, Lord. Just praise your name, Holy Father, Heavenly Father. Well, you know what? This thing does not fit. It is broken. See how that broke in there? So we got to replace this breaker. It is bad. See how that's all broken in there? So we want, we got a new uh, 50 amp breaker for the stove. Put it in the box here. How's it going? We have no power in our wall plugs in the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to turn them on right now. Okay, everything should be on now except for the stove and the water heater. Shorten this up just a bit. It's a little long. like a bunny rabbit. I love bunny rabbits. So we'll just tighten this screw with a flathead screwdriver. Make sure it's tight. Make sure it's tight. Push it back in. And now we can do our uh, water heater breaker. And we'll put it in right over our sticks here. Where should I put it in over here? I'll put it in over here. Yeah, I'll put it in right over here. We used up our OK, 
Okay, we're going to hook up our last circuit. I just thank you, Lord, if this doesn't fit, I just praise your name, Lord. I'll just praise your name if it doesn't fit. I'll just praise your name, amen. Praise his name. Praise the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just praise him. I can't get it in. You know what? You can't get it in. You don't frustrate. It just, if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. You just thank your Heavenly Father, you praise Him, and you don't frustrate, you don't carry on, you don't piss and moan about it. Just worship Him. Okay. So we did get it in. We cut off the white wire because we're not needing it. We only have 10-3. We don't have any 10-2. And this is for the water heater. It's just one of those things where you don't have matching wires. So we're just going to use what we have. Amen. We're going to thank our Lord and Savior, praise Him, worship Him, focus on Him instead of on myself, and praise and worship Him. And we're going to be thankful for what we have and not complain about what we have. So we'll stick our 30 amp double pole right here. Push it in the box like this. Okay, we'll make sure our red and blacks are long enough. And it looks like they're going to be long enough. So we'll take our ground wire and we'll bring it down over to this corner here. So bring it over. Let it lay. You don't frustrate. Just leave it lay on the floor. I'll get it when I need it. Push it back in along the corner of our box here. Okay, so we'll make our bend here like that. And we'll push it back into the back of our box. Push it down. 
and her nice and neat. Now we'll bring our red and our black over. We'll bring it across the front here. Come up. And we will go in right here with our black. I'm so thankful to the Heavenly Father I couldn't find that knife. And it's, it's a great challenge to go without it. Amen. It's a wonderful challenge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord and Savior. I love you, Lord. I love you, Savior. You're mine. I trust you. I praise your holy name. I just want to if I can to fit nice and flat there so I can stand on it. Push it in, and we'll fold our wire back here so it's going in nice and straight. And if that can leaks, you know what? I'm not going to care. I'm not going to frustrate. I'm not going to curse your name, Lord. I love you, Lord. You're my Savior, my Heavenly Father. And if it leaks, it leaks. So be it. I just thank the Lord. Thank Him. Praise Him. Give Him honor. Give Him glory. Hallelujah. Sure, our wire is nice and straight. So we'll make our wires go nice and straight here. So that is our 220, 240 volt line to go to our water heater. So we're going to make sure our uh, cover is ready to go on here now. Okay, so now we'll figure out our cover, which way it goes on. So we're going to be putting it on this way. So we're going to open all the ones on this side. Karen's not going to pick him up. Okay, so we're going to open two on the top here. And we're going to open two on the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, so we got our cover ready to go on. So we're just gonna make sure our screws are not gonna hit any wires. So all our breakers are all fitting in the box the way we want them. These two screws come here. They gave us some extras. So that is how to do a panel swap here in the country I was born in, installing a replacement sub-panel where there was a sub-panel that had some issues with it. Peace. Thanks for watching.